Staff transfers made by former governor of the Central Bank, Arjuna Mahendran, were discussed extensively at the Presidential Commission today. News First Zulfik Fazan reports. In her evidence, Kalyani Gunatilaka, the former director of the Human Resources Department of the Central Bank, said the former governor wanted to reshuffle the heads of departments. She said former Governor Mahendra did not elaborate on the reasons for the 14 transfers and said she was shocked over the number as it was very unusual. When the matter of the transfer list was raised before the Commission today, Council Charnak De Silva objected to the relevance of this evidence. However, the attorney for the Attorney General's Department noted that these transfers were done with an objective of interfering in the decision-making process. Furthermore, the AG's Department noted that this was an attempt to manipulate the system in order to manipulate the markets. Kalyani Gunatilaka informed the Commission she was particularly concerned about the transfer of Deepa Seniviratna from the Currency Department to the Public Debt Department because she was an excellent employee. Kalyani Gunatilaka said she did not possess the professional expertise to head the PDD. She went on to note that days after the transfers, the duties of Deputy Governors and Assistant Governors were reallocated. She added that a docket of HR information and an organization structure were given to the former governor upon his request. She stated that this docket was not produced before the commission because it had not been requested by the Attorney General's department. Former Assistant Governor C.A.B. Karunathilaka, giving evidence this evening, said he believed that Arjuna Mahendran may have been misinformed about the HOD competencies. He was also grilled on the tender board meeting that took place on the 27th of February 2015. He said that though he was not actively involved in the decision-making process, there was a high level of disagreement over the former governor's decision to accept 10 times of the amount offered on that day. In his evidence, Governor Tilika said before the commission that there were concerns among senior management of attempts to bring in consultants for the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. He also went on to note that the senior management was not pleased with the actions of former governor Arjun Mahendran. The tenure of the commission was due to conclude on the 27th of April. Sources close to the commission said that a letter had been sent to the president requesting for an extension of the tenure, but it is yet to receive a response. Sources say that they expect a positive response.